uh, Fomopsis doesn't usually start to show until about two weeks to harvest. Um, and the main symptoms of Fomopsis um, are at this time are leaf spots, little yellow spots with, with uh, brown centers or spots or streaks on the canes. Usually the first couple of internodes is where you see it. Um, and the main reason why we have so much Fomopsis uh, right now versus maybe years ago is that uh, there's a lot of old wood left in the vines through mechanical pruning. So mechanical pruning and no follow-up uh, leaves a lot of old wood and that's where the fungus overwinters. And so um, we found that if we do umbrella niffin where you don't leave much any of old wood at all, uh, actually has very little disease and that's why probably your grandfather didn't, or even your dad didn't have much problem with Fomopsis and, and now we do uh, the other thing with uh, mechanical pruning is that you have a very sometimes very dense canopy especially uh, during you know we have hard winters uh, or spring frost people leave extra wood extra buds just in case and so then if you don't follow up uh, you know pruning then you end up having a very dense canopy which is very difficult to penetrate with fungicide sprayer and so we end up having one more wood where the fungus is so much more inoculum nowadays poor coverage. Um, I know people have been cutting back on the volume in the sprayer. Maybe they spray every other row. Um, that just doesn't cut it, especially if you have high fomopsis pressure. Uh, you just need to really um, buckle down and just do a, a few good you know, sprays to make sure that you protect those clusters. Um, one other thing about fomopsis is that whatever is in the wood, uh, that's the only inoculum there is uh, so what overwinters there's no repeating cycle there are no spores produced on the lesions on the leaves or on the canes until the and on the canes until the following year so really we're it's like a bank account and every time it rains you lose some of the spore production um, rainy springs you get a lot of spores mostly they tend to peak in mid to late may so that is a time when we have also a lot of rapid shoot growth uh, we have rain, we have clusters exposed, and those are the times you need to, to, to aim for fungicide sprays.